check. No, can I get in there? Go this way. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Old Deer Diner. Good girl. Okay. I guess that's the end of that episode. So two. Right, let's go to episode three. On Alan Wake. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So Dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Episode 3 <laughs> Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That room, right, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Hmm. Come on. Not much further, Randolph. Yeah. I was gonna get that for you, but... It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. 
Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. I assume that's it there. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Oh, what's... Oh. No. Barry! What? What? Sure, you got the decaf. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. The light's on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Nauseous, hung over, only anger kept me going. Yep. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Okay, she then. promises me oh, I can save finished. Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Alright. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't yeah. work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to get... My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. All right. Let's find the car. Which is... Jump out of that map. Easy to go down here. (laughs) 
Yep. What's he doing? Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slay. I guess we've got to go on the I run. I needed to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Time to run. Yeah, it's running out of momentum. Or oh, stamina, I mean. Yeah, crap. I'll stay in the ditch, I think. Oh, uh, damn. <laughs> maybe not then. Yep, there he There they are. Breaking a bit closer to the waypoint. Any second now. Yeah, made the checkpoint, so that's good. That can't be good. Yeah, up the stairs there. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's big, whatever it is. <clears throat> this horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. <gasps> Alright, another checkpoint. It's cool. And there's a helicopter. 
<clears throat> oh, crap. Birds are back. Looks like we're nearly there. Let's have a look. Way in here. See if there's anything of interest over here. Not really, no. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Yeah. Cool. Is open? Yep. Grab a thermos. And what does this do? Uh, this is Jane, Mulligan, Thornton. Come in, over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they were just hey, come on, what you come on? Sit down and give me that. Jane. Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just too pleased to hear here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh, Fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler. Over. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll bet she does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All get out. Yeah, right, let's keep going. Gotta get past that door. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Yeah, well, I hope he does. Ah, uh, this cannot be good. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Which I don't have. We got here. There was no power to the searchlight. Of course, there wasn't. <laughs> Maybe there's something in here. It looks like a generator. All right. Here we go. Let's see if I can do it properly. No. Too soon. Hopefully that should fix a lot. They're working on. Yep. That was pretty easy. Uh, 
another one. Any guns or anything? Nope. I hope it's got enough power to open this one. Yep. Really wish I had a gun though. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Pretty handy. Looks promising. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Maine. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Alright, let's keep going. Just have to check the news report. Ah, uh, here they come again. Sound and fury, try the end. Awesome. Alright, let's. Sure, there's gonna be more of them soon. Yep! Yep. I like the flashbang grenades, they're awesome. Yep. Okay, nobody alive. Or nobody in the car, I mean. Yep. Alright, hopefully that's all of them. No, that's obviously not all of them. Okay. Oh, and I'm stuck in that tr branch. There we go. Locked. No, it's 
not locked for once. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. No way to run that way, Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. We're on the run again. <laughs> I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. I've got one flashbang left. So hopefully I don't have to oh, of course. <laughs> that plays good. Crap. I got no weapons left. Maybe there's something in here I can grab before I die. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's one sec. Yeah. Oh. That's just what I was looking for. Swear it up. Ah, cool. 
flesh bangs. Okay, there's another one there. anything of value in here doesn't look like it oh wait hang on shotgun ammo shotgun okay oh crap Okay. That's not where I want to be. That's not where I want it to be. I got stuck in the bed. All right, let's try this again. Gotta dodge more. For the big boy here, got rid of all of them except him. Let's nice try Axe Man. Yeah, there we go. That's right. There we go. Let's see if there's anything of value in here. Batteries, revolver ammo. Nothing else, just a coffee thermos. Wait. Yep. Hello? Most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alice. Alice. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alice, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Mm -hmm. All right. Say that is that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its path. Oh, 
Oh. Alright. This is not, not a good place to be. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, don't. Ah, oh, jeez. Perhaps of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Let's try this again. Try not to get. I don't think I know what I'm supposed to do. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path Good. Oh, yeah. Ah, let's maybe we can get up there. I think. Warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. Yeah, no. I hoped I could find a car from there. Let's see if I can do this right. Looks like Alfred goes crazy. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. to go up there by the looks of it and try not to get hit by anything. Can you come up here? No. Okay. Of some sort on the opposite. Um, I hoped I could find a car from there. I'm sure, it's probably quite obvious. And no oh, crap. Clay. Sure, there's a straightforward answer. That was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Ah, 
their own pipes. Warehouse of some sort on the opposite <sighs> shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. I'm sure it's an obvious answer. No way through. Doesn't seem to be a way up there. Sure, there is, though. Here we go again. The the darkness. darkness. Yeah. Was stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. This is where we've had some flash pain. Crap. Ah, damn. I didn't even see. It looks like you've got to use a torch to get rid of them. I think. some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Let's get a dodge a bit better though. Just climb it, Alan. All right, let's see. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Where is it? Look straight into that one. Not has damn you pipes. Damn. Oh no. I thought I was getting somewhere. But that does seem it looks like you gotta use a torch to Yeah, I know. I, know. I hoped I could find a car from there. <laughs> okay, I gotta dodge it. Watch where I stand. I know the theory, I've just gotta do it properly. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing strong. And it was taking over everything in its path. Wait for it. I think it's that one. Has to be. Too close. Get off. Ah, uh, get off. <laughs> no, watch where I'm standing. Come on. 
Oh crap. Uh, trying to duck it. And I'll get rid of it. Way to get rid of these things so I can get out. Hooray! Finally. Ah, jeez, smoked it then. Let me get to a checkpoint. So I do not want to do that again. I do, Mr. Wake, try to enter. Just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Oh, oh crap that. Batteries, revolver, ammo. Alright. Yep. Good shotgun, ammo. Shotgun. Oh crap, crap. Kind of <laughs> to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Let's have a look around. Let's see if we can find some more stuff before they. Okay. Good to know. Got a couple of them. Oh, crap. <sighs> yep, missed. Should have done that before. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. He's most of the gas gas tanks anyway. Ah, oh, crap! Ah, oh, another one. Oh, damn. Duck. I, I swear I was hitting dodge. Obviously I wasn't because I didn't dodge. But... Yeah, right. Oh, I'm 
charging at me. Ah. Let's try this again, see if we can get past these two. There we go. I'll assume I'm going up. Looking batteries and flares. Anything else? Second episode of scene of that. Alright. Oh, hang on. That. Coming up. Make the checkpoint. Holy crap, the bulldozer. Oh crap. That's really good. Ah, yeah. You can't outrun that. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Crap, crap. <laughs> Jeez, they really gang up on you. I tried to make it, tried to open the gate, but.
not towards it. Not towards it. That was that was bad. That was really bad. All right. Let's watch out for the bulldozer this time. And I still get hit by it. Ah, oh, jeez. Trying to dodge the bulldozer and everything else. stuck. They're coming. Oh, the gate's open. Thank goodness. All right. to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. <sighs> the coal mine wasn't far now. All right, I would meet. I'm going to finish up now, so have a good day. See you again soon. Bye.